Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be teaching you how to make the espresso martini. But before I do that, let's talk about this gorgeous kimono. This gorgeous kimono is from Ihuoma Lingerie. She is a black woman owned lingerie company. She started in 2020, I believe. I actually filmed a review on this kimono and some other lingerie that I ordered from her a year ago or more, um, but it was just a bad day and it's right around the time that I kind of stopped filming. I remember that day my camera had died and then something else happened. I think I ran out of memory the second time I tried to film. It was, it was a bad, bad day. Anyway, the good news is, is I reordered from her um, a couple days ago actually. So when the order comes, I will review that as well as the old stuff, obviously. I like it, otherwise I wouldn't have reordered. Um, it's just amazing for a company so young to be so iconic in many ways. Uh, this is the Divine Feminine Kimono in Chocolate. And I believe she does a collaboration with her daughter on the embroidery. It's just absolutely stunning. I love it. Um, and I'm excited to see where her business goes because she's so young. So I've seen her grow over the past year and a half and it's been exciting since I discovered her. So anyway, without further ado, let's make the martini. All right, so the espresso martini, I believe this was invented in London sometime in the 1800s. That may or may not be true. I don't know, I could be making that up. Regardless, it's people still drink it today because it's delicious. So, you are going to need a shaker. I have ice in my shaker. You are gonna, we're gonna put um, two ounces of vodka in the shaker. I'm using Tito's. Use whatever vodka you like. Remember the higher quality of the vodka, the silkier the drink will be. So, Kahlua is very, very sweet. I like it, it's delicious, but it is really sweet. So I'm only gonna use half an ounce. I am not using simple syrup. If you like a sweeter drink, use half an ounce of simple syrup or just use a full ounce of Kahlua. I'm gonna stick with half the ounce today. All right, so the rock star of the drink is the espresso. I do not have an espresso machine. Um, in order to get that nice foamy head that I'm hopefully going to get with this cocktail, we really need to have espresso. So I actually went to my local coffee shop and I bought an espresso to go. I waited for this to cool to room temperature. If you're not patient, just pop this in the freezer for 10 minutes. If you put it in the drink, it's gonna melt the ice and you're gonna have a really watery cocktail. So keep that in mind wait for it to cool. And we are using one full ounce of the espresso. All right. We're gonna pop this top on. Give it a good shake. double strainer so the double strainer is optional it's only going to make it a little bit more foamier for you it's totally up to you it's also going to help get out those tiny little ice chunks because I did shake this pretty hard I'm straining this into a chilled martini glass Look at that foam. Okay, so I don't have a specialty drink tongs, but I've got tiny little fingers. So I'm gonna place three beans. Oh, perfect. Three beans right on top for the garnish. Let's see how I did. Mmm, that's delicious. I like that a lot. Well, that there you have it. <laughs> that's the espresso martini. 
As always, be happy, be healthy, be well, be nice to each other. Cheers.